But now let's go ahead and turn over to our local forecast and we're just going to gear right up for the snow event that's going to be making its way into the area. So taking a look at what kind of threats we're going to be facing. We are going to see very chilly conditions this morning. Air temperatures we saw in Fairfield at one degree, wind chill values at eight below. So we are going to have a bit of that cold start, but still the main main focus is going to be on the snowfall because throughout the day today we're going to be holding on to that potential for some moderate to heavier snowfall at times during our early afternoon and it will continue into your commute home. So you are going to be dealing with that around 5 to 6 p.m. Now let's go ahead though, jump right on into the future cast and start tracking it out because we have a few hours to go before it moves in. Starting off around 9 a.m., we're gonna bring it in towards our westernmost areas. And then as we head later in towards the afternoon, this is when we're gonna start to see that heavier snowfall potential, the more moderate to heavy periods. But right now we are expecting to see more development on this area right here, up towards the Missouri and Iowa border. We are gonna see heavier snowfalls across southeast Iowa, even more so up towards say Des Moines, but for our area, the highest is going to be in towards Mahaska County, even in towards Wapolo in our northernmost areas as well. But we're going to continue this on and off into your commute home around 5 p.m. Still holding on to that snowfall. Not going to be too concerned with moderate to heavy snowfall. Most of this during our later afternoon, early evening hours is going to be more of some lighter snowfall, but still making an impact. You're going to already be dealing with snow on the roadways, and then you're going to continue to add on to it until we head in towards about 7 to 8 p.m. tonight. That's when it's moved off towards our east, but that's just round one. We have another event headed our way for Tuesday into Wednesday. This one's more focused in for Northeast Missouri. So picking up Tuesday afternoon around 4 to 5 p.m., you are going to see this on your commute home from work on Friday, or sorry, on Tuesday. And as it pulls through the area, we are gonna see most of that staying just south of the Iowa and Missouri border. Now we are gonna to expect to see Centerville and other areas right along the border picking up a little bit more snowfall, but the main threat that for Tuesday into Wednesday along our southernmost counties, which could see an additional one to two, potentially over two inches more as we head through Tuesday into Wednesday. But how much snowfall through these first 24 hours? quite a lot. This is going to be a nice system that pulls into the area, bringing with it potential for two plus inches across northeast Missouri, almost up to four inches through the first 24 hours in southeast Iowa. Then we add in that extra little bit. Areas along our southernmost could see that extra one to two inches. And then as you get closer and closer to the Missouri and Iowa border, it drops down to about half of an inch, potentially even less as we get up in towards areas like Centerville and Bloomfield, which will see most of the snowfall today into tomorrow. And so as for temperatures right now, very chilly as we get started. A few of our areas down below zero, Albia, Fairfield, Bloomfield, Lancaster. It is bitterly cold outside and then add in those extra little bit with the wind. Feels like 10 below in Kirksville and Lancaster, 13 below the field temperature in Fairfield. Make sure you're bundled up and prepared for how chilly it is. Temperatures today well below average, only rising in towards the lower 20s tonight. Not much better down into the low single digits for a good majority of us making our outlier at 13 degrees and tomorrow even cooler as temperatures stay down in the upper teens and lower 20s. Punxsutawney Phil was right. We are holding on to winter and it's getting started rather early and taking a look at your extended forecast. We will see a few days getting a little bit warmer for Thursday and Friday. Now stick with us. We'll be right back.